Good evening, beautiful people. I've got some great stuff to show you today. And as always, starting with a uh, vanilla Fedora desktop, silver blue. And I forgot how to copy and paste. There we go. Voxite. You might have heard of this before. This was a XFCE desktop. Basically a silver, uh, silver blue, but with XFCE instead of GNOME. And... I reached out to the author, uh, Hyperreal64 has been working on this. Uh, if you've been following my awesome immutable list, Voxite has been around for a long time. They, uh, they publish a remote for OS tree, um, which is, as you can see here, hosted on a custom, you know, on a custom, uh, repo, very much like a Git repo. Uh, and then you would rebase, rebase to this. So I reached out to them because I thought it'd be neat if um people were talking about this on reddit if we could take these and be able to spit out a container image after all it that shouldn't be a a problem so i reached out to them and we got to work and uh here it is voxite uh it's at you blue uh dash os slash voxite and uh here's the first base image and that is what we are rebasing to now in the background you might have seen it they are downloading a bunch of layers that's a very docker docker looking thing um so yeah we've got a very first package uh and here it is um so let's let's dig in a little bit here on what we're doing so at first you might have been familiar with uh you blue was a uh you know my take on an ubuntuized fedora silver blue which is what i wanted uh but as time went on it became more apparent that the core os folks are building lego kits for everybody right um so i i figured you know while we're on this journey let's explore you know let's explore to the fullest uh, uh now's not the time to you know let scope creep uh ruin a, a good time so why not try to figure out um how many desktops we can get this way i've had people say well i like these ideas but you know i don't like gnome and kde right and the kde folks had to wait wait an extra long time um you know, uh, to get, uh, Kenoite. I hope I'm saying that right. I suck at names. Um, so, you know, like I can see when someone's like, Hey, you know, this is the future or whatever. And it's like, well, if it took them that long to do those two desktops, you know, what chance, you know, what about the thing I want to use? I don't want to be left behind. That sucks. Um, but don't worry. The only stuff we're trying to leave behind is toil, right? So we want to bring all the good things uh, with you, whether that's XFCE, Mate, whatever. Sure, the model the model doesn't care what the payload is, right? Um, as you can see, um, they're already working on the Mate one because, as you've hopefully learned by now, um, the more we automate, the more uh, easier it is to to make the next thing. So uh, let's look at what we're doing here. If we look into the actions real quick and notice we've made some changes here and the build is broken, right? If this was the other way around, your OS would be broken. Um, so we will never serve you a bad image um, because we don't really make bad images. Now, the payload might have a bug, um, but we could remove a whole class of issues that people have with their computers if we understand that the payload gets there atomically. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah. Uh, same thing before this action, however, is totally different because they are using the, what well, is the older way to build, uh, silver blue, which was, which is just using OS tree. And if you've seen some of my past videos, learning this thing was what I was avoiding, uh, doing, you know, in the first place. Cause like I wasn't familiar with it and you had to set up a web server and, I don't know. It's more than what I wanted to do, but I was glad other people were doing it, um, which is interesting because now that I look at this, it looks way simpler than this stuff that we've been building. But anyway, I had never set up uh, this before. So instead of, if you've noticed on my images uh, that I've been making, uh, let's look at my Ubuntu one here is I start from another image, right? I actually, we should look at my base image, right? I start with this base image. Now this is a temporary one in Collins, uh, namespace, but you know, pretend for now that that will be an official 
you know, Fedora uh, thing that I can trust, right? Um, so I'm starting with that already. So when I want to customize stuff, I'm stripping it out of silver blue or I'm adding things on top. Now, silver blue already gives me a functional desktop. So that's what I choose. This made it hard for people that have been watching my videos and stuff though, to make their own version of um, silver blue, but with another desktop, because that is more of a lower level thing, right? I'm only customizing a thing. Uh, you, you're swapping out an entire desktop and you know, the network manager and whatever, whatever thing that you need to have in there. So that's, that's what, um, OS tree, this OS tree setup, uh, is doing now. Luckily hyper real knew all of this already. So all we had to do is, is connect the dots because they're actually building it, you know, basically from scratch. Um, whereas I'm only built from a, um, uh, an existing container, right? Uh, like if you see here, the build times to make this air, you know, are approaching 45 minutes. Whereas my Ublu image only takes two minutes uh, because it's just, you know, basing off another thing and adding a layer, right? Um, whereas this is building it out from scratch. Obviously, I think both approaches are the way to go. I wouldn't want to try to swap out a desktop, you know, with the methods that I've been using because that, you know, that's it's in the other direction, right? You know, this is like where you want to start. I think that now, but we can have both of those things set up to spit out the cloud image. The end user isn't really going to care, right? So now all of a sudden that we have this, anyone who clones this repo um, and that pa that desktop is in Fedora, right? And you can declare what packages you want, basically follow what the others have done. Um, then theoretically, yeah, that should be, that should be the way to go. So that's that's what I'm kind of doing here now. I've decided I've retitled this Universal Blue. I think we want to experiment, see what happens, right? If, you know, one of the problems that people have said, I and mean, you've heard me say this, you've heard Alan Pope has famously said this, stop making distributions, right? Um, but I think one of the issues that people do make distributions is they want to get, they want to do something cool, right? And they want to give it to people, right? Like I want to make a cool looking Ubuntu image, but do you want me maintaining a kernel? Not really, you know, and that, that's kind of the problem. You know, I think you've seen this outline with, uh, you know, distributions that have a small team or a single person or whatever, right? The problem is, is that if you want to get that level of customization that you want, you kind of have to make your own distro because you need your own ISO and you want your own branding and blah, 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 blah. Well, what if, you know, we can give people the customization that they need, but then I could take advantage of all the goodness that like my distribution has, right? Currently that's Fedora, right? But that could be anybody, right? I could actually in this image put stuff that comes directly from upstream from other distros and stuff and just make the image and then you're not gonna care. So what are even distributions anymore? I don't know, I don't know. So that's why I think it's kind of worth investigating. I think it's very interesting that, you know, once we were able to connect those things that we could just, we could stamp these out. So if there's a desktop in Fedora you know, we should be able to spit out images so people can try. And yeah, I rebased the laptop to, to it and then rebooted it. And I was an XFCE, right? Like we've talked about this kind of jokingly, right? What if every single desktop was available as an image? You could just switch, you could just switch images atomically and everything would be perfect and would work. And I'm kind of doing that. Um, I think it opens up different bugs that people weren't expecting. Right. Like, um, but I, I also think it's, it is very interesting. So if you're, if you're digging this kind of thing, uh, it's pretty cool. If you want to seriously work on this, um, uh, you know, we're hanging out in the immutable discord. I think I put a link in there somewhere. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty neat. I wasn't expecting, um, us to be able to, to figure out the actions as, um, as relatively quickly as he did. Um, but, uh, thanks to Colin Walters. He helped us out with that. So with that, um, I hope you're having a great day and, uh, I'm going to go play division two on Linux now. So <laughs> see ya.